Sergey from Crystal Freediving and today we're going to talk about how to choose mask for freediving. Do you need to have a different mask for scuba diving and freediving? Can you use your mask from snorkeling uh, when you start doing freediving? So this is the questions which we try to answer. So first of all, uh, what is the difference for the freediving mask? So this one is a quite popular freediving mask, Sfera. It's a really nice mask for freediving, long standing, like a lot of people, a lot of freedivers use it. Uh, one of the uh, one of the reason, like interesting reason, that in this mask you usually have a nice uh, pictures. I mean, like if you're using this mask and someone shoot you, someone make a picture of you, then you're going to look nice. So what is the good thing about this mask? It's really low profile, really low volume. Right? When you have it on your face, uh, you have not that much airspace inside the mask. And why this is beneficial? Because the deeper you go, uh, the more, the more, the higher pressure is, and then the air is going to be compressed more and more. So if you have, let's say, like big volume, if you have a huge mask, then all this mask, all this airspace, you're supposed to equalize which means uh, that you're gonna lose a lot of air for your mask equalization and if you have a low volume mask then you don't need that much air also it has a quite soft silicone which is nice um, especially your nose pocket when you do your equalization uh, if you're not like if you do your hands-free equalization then it's maybe not that, not that important but if you normally equalize like with your fingers then to have a soft silicone i think it's like uh, a little bit more convenient so this is a question number this is uh, like first thing how to choose a mask for free diving low volume soft silicone so aqua aqua mask uh, aqua lung mask uh, sphero mask is one of the best masks like personally, I don't use uh, Sfera. Why? There is a big disadvantage for me. Uh, the glasses is really easy to scratch. Let's say, for example, uh, if you finish with the mask, then you should be really careful. You should put it somewhere like that, uh, not like this. Uh, otherwise, soon you're gonna have a lot of scratch on your mask, okay? So if you care about your equipment, then maybe your mask is for, this mask is for you. Like I sometimes when I finish with my mask, I just throw it. And this is why probably Sphere is not the best choice for me. Anyway, good mask, good mask and looks good in this mask. So what about uh, like big mask for scuba diving? For example, like this one. Can I use this mask for free diving? Absolutely yes. So if you already have some kind of mask, uh, in the beginning, when you just start doing your free diving, when you're doing maybe 20, 30 meters deep, it's not that important what kind of mask you use. Of course, you're gonna lose a little bit air to equal, a little bit more air compared to the low volume mask, but it's not going to be that much. So guys, it is a difference, don't uh, get me wrong, but it's not a huge difference. So if you have any mask already, you can start doing your free diving with this mask. But of course, if you compare this to mask, of course, Fera have a, uh, has low volume. Uh, and of course, it's much more better for, for free diving. So what about otherwise, if you, first start practicing free diving and let's say you get your free diving mask can you use it for snorkeling or scuba diving absolutely yes so the main questions can you have a one mask for both let's say scuba diving and free diving yes of course if you are really serious in scuba diving and you are really serious about free diving maybe you want to have a two mask and this is going to be a good idea. But in the beginning, when you sometimes doing scuba diving, sometimes free diving, absolutely okay to have one mask. 